But of course, all of rugby overshadowed by the very sad news that came from the borders in Scotland earlier today. Dottie Weir, the former Scotland and Lions second row, sadly passed away uh, this morning. He had been diagnosed with motor neuron disease back in 2016. No doubt, John Barkley, this will have devastated so much of the rugby community right across the world, but especially those of you in Scotland where he was quite simply an, an icon of the game. Yeah, he was. Uh, I don't think we can put too fine a point on how devastating this will be, but also the, the scale of his character. Um, they say don't meet your heroes and as a, as a young player he was a hero of mine I grew up on a, a healthy appetite of that 97 Lions documentary we, we used to feast on it and Dolly was only on that tour for a number of weeks but me and my brother used to talk about it we didn't know him and his personality was infectious and I was lucky to obviously go on and play for Scotland and get to spend time in his company and latterly in my career after he got his diagnosis um, spent time he did a lot of hospitality at Murrayfield and you always used to used to love going up but you always used to dread it because you knew <laughs> it, he wasn't going to give you an easy ride up at hospitality, <laughs> no matter what had happened. Um, 2017, I was obviously lucky to be captain, and that, that occasion was a career highlight for me. And to be in the stadium was really special. And we watched the, uh, the Wales-Australia game previously when we were off air, and uh, Warren Gatlin spoke about he was at the game a couple of weeks ago when the similar thing happened, and New Zealand team and the Scotland team, and the whole stadium, you know, 70,000 people, when you, you recognise something special. So... Yeah, like Dottie knew his fate when he, when he got that diagnosis in it and it, it rocked the world, but I can't think of someone that would have done it with more sort of fight and more dignity and more bravery. So yeah, it's a really sad day. Quite extraordinary the amount of money that he raised, you know, even while suffering with that awful disease, he, his main motivation was to try and raise money to, for better research and to try and alleviate some of the symptoms that other people who, you know, sadly would probably get this as well in the future. That, and that was the measure of the man, that even under those conditions, he was still thinking of others and trying to raise money to, to battle this. Yeah, and, and he knew his time was limited. And it's a terrible thing to, to discover at that age. You would have been 47 at the time, yet with the time he had left, like you say, he decided to devote that to making sure that the next generation of people, they get this terrible disease, they're doing as much as they can, and, and they raise a, a, a fortune, and they need to continue to do that, because that could be the biggest respect we could show to Dolly, is to keep doing this work, keep getting money into his foundation, and keep trying to find a, a cure for this terrible disease. John mentioned the Lions documentary, Stevie Living with Lions, it was absolutely fabulous, and of course he was a central character, even though he was only there for a few weeks, and, and that speaks volumes about him, doesn't he? He was just that sort of a person, he transcended the game. Yeah, I've never met anybody that you know, hasn't enjoyed being in Dottie Weir's company. I remember going on a school trip back in 2002 and watching Dottie play for the Borders. And like he was like the marquee name, you know, he was the, the giant that was in the second row. Um, and then I had the pleasure and privilege of meeting him at Loch Lomond Golf Club when he came in in his blue and yellow tartan no suit <laughs> that anybody that you know, speaks of Dottie can, can recognise that and sat down in the, the leather sofas of the locker room in Loch Lomond and enjoyed his company for a couple of hours and he was having a couple of quiet beers and it was just good fun you know he really good fun but the reason that we were there was to raise money we were there at an event and he came along and we raised you know a couple of hundred thousand pounds people have gave very generously to the Dottie Weir Foundation and they will continue to do so because the man you know will live on um, trying to build as much money as he can for for other people that might suffer with this horrific disease. I read his obituary that was written by Tom English uh, on the BBC website just a few minutes ago. Uh, John, Tom English described him as six foot seven inches of joyous chaos. Is that an apt description of the big man? <laughs> That's pretty spot on. I think, you, like Stevie says, you saw him coming a mile off. Um, the chaos that went with him, like I said, in the hospitality stuff, doing stuff with him, you know, you knew it was going to be wild, whether it was two minutes or 10 minutes you had with him, it was going to be full of event, eventful uh, conversation. So yeah, like he's, there's people that you meet in life and there's some people fill up a room and they're magnets and you meet, I think you meet very few of them in your life and I think he was one of those guys. In the Lions context, Stevie, his name and the imagery and the famous shots of him in that, on that film <clears throat> have, have put him right up there, haven't they, for, uh, forever? They really have and, and even going through um, social media at the minute and everybody of course is very touched by the death of Dottie Weir. It's the, the image of him in his Lions jersey um, representing the British and Irish Lions. Um, he was a ferocious player. You know, people sort of nowadays only really remember Dottie from having MND, but like he was a brilliant rugby player. 
he really put himself on the map. Uh, and I think everybody enjoyed that documentary that John's talking about, including myself. Um, and he will be very, very sadly missed. Absolutely. When something tragic like this happens, it puts everything else in the game and in life into proper context. And all the thoughts of us here at Via Player with the great late Dottie Weir, all his friends and, of course, his family.